Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is the first time you've been here. My name is Megan and today we're going to be doing a little get ready with me. I've got a bunch of new, well it's not really new, but I've got a bunch of Scott Barnes stuff here and I've never tried it before so wanted to try it out. I also have the new Haley's Refresh. I'm super excited about this. Um, you know what? Actually I'm not sure if this is new either. <laughs> I've got a bunch of new stuff to me and we're going to try it today. So let's get into it. So I was going to come on with my foundation already on, but I wanted to go over these brushes that I showed a few videos ago and I just kind of wanted to show you how I'm using them. I absolutely love them. Okay, first off I want to address my Christmas theme. I'm a Christmas freak and I know, oh, give Thanksgiving its day. Thanksgiving's still going to get its day. It's actually going to get two days. but. It's Christmas for like four months for me. Let's start out with this round brush and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And e.l.f. has its own brush, but I love using this brush with it. So I just take the brush and I just swirl it in and I just place it wherever I have larger pores where I want to fill it. And it's just the perfect little primer applicator. So I am obsessed with this brush. And you may notice that I'm not wearing gloves today. I got a new medicine. So I actually bought it on my own. I went through a pharmacy who has a doctor there um, and got some ketamine and lidocaine lotion. And so basically it makes sure not it doesn't make my hands numb, it just makes me not feel the pain. And so it's super awesome. I wear my gloves 24 seven, so this is amazing. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Nude. And I'm gonna start with my forehead so I can put my bangs back down. Guess that wasn't really smart. And if you are a brush lover, this brush is amazing. It is so fast. It's just, it's definitely my favorite foundation brush I have ever used. I'm actually more of a brush person, but I like to just take my beauty blender, which is actually not a beauty blender. It's just a blender from Haley's Beauty. It's my favorite. And then I just make sure there's no lines and that's it. Why is there a fly in here? I am so confused. There's always a fly in every one of my videos. I don't know if it's just because I live in Texas and it's still hot outside. So when we leave the doors open for the dogs or whatever, they just come in. I don't know. I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Stick in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to take this uh, angled brush and kind of rub it on there. And this isn't bronzer, this is just contour. And my hair is really in the way, but. And I love doing it this way instead of, you'll see a lot of YouTubers just kind of like, you know, scrub it all over their face. I don't like that because then I get too much and I don't actually love like harsh lines for contour. And lastly, we have this little triangle brush. And I'm going to do the same exact thing with the sculpt stick, just a little bit. And then just rub it or run it down my nose. And this is a little harsher. So I will show you what I do. Gonna blend it in and then I take my beauty blender. There we go, that's all the contouring I do. Okay, so I I actually don't like tart shaped tape, but 
Uh, they have the Ultra Creamy, and I've never tried it, and I was at Ultra with my mom, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I picked up the small version, just in case I didn't like it. So I'm going to try the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy in the shade Light Neutral 22N. And I'm not going to use a ton, just because I'm scared it's going to be like the original t Shape Tape, so... Hmm. It's actually not bad. I'm going to use the Haley's Beauty Retouch Setting Powder. And I don't think, no, this doesn't have a shade. This I think this is just translucent. I just got it in my eyeball. Ow. And I'm just going to set anywhere that I put the concealer. I have these cute little pads that I haven't used yet. I wasn't sure. I really like my little round puff pads, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Why not? It's a little heart-shaped puff pad. I think it's a dupe of like the Tati Beauty, which she's like going out of business, so obviously you can't make anymore. Um, I think it's called the Blendiful. So I don't know. I never had the Blendiful, so I can't say if it's a dupe, but the shape of it looks like it. I'm gonna take the number seven in light medium and just kind of set my face. Then I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. And it comes in this nice little, I think it's like a... <laughs> I think it's glass, <laughs> a glass like bottle. It's very fancy looking, I like it. I know I talk about her a lot, I apologize. Uh, Rose and Ben Beauty on Instagram or on TikTok has said you really gotta put like a very light thin coat of this or it could crease up on you. So we're gonna put a very light thin coat I must be allergic to something in like every single eye primer because I swear everything makes my eyelids burn. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelids before they crease up. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Benefit Pomade Pomade in the shade 3.5 Medium Brown neutral medium brown and I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because I've done it a ton of times for y'all so I don't want to waste your time here and I just used the benefit ready set brow to keep them in place and now it is time for the tequila sunrise by Scott Barnes and that's a very pretty colors and we've got a mirror so I'm going to go ahead and start with the orange color in my crease Very pigmented. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. And I did about three coats get to this color and of course I've blended out so it's gonna be a little bit lighter but nonetheless very amazing pigment all right that kind of sucks I'm gonna have to put my gloves on because my hands are already starting to hurt it's supposed to last the medicine's supposed to last longer than that but it is CRPS what did I expect I'm gonna use this teal color on the outer corner
me try my finger. Oh wow, okay. So, you're gonna get so much more color payoff with your finger. That's insane. Absolutely insane. I'm gonna go in with this purple color right here on the middle and I'm just gonna use my finger. It seems to be working so much better. Wow. These colors are absolutely insane. Like literally insane. And then I'm going to take this, the lightest pink shade in the middle and put it on my inner corner. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a flat shader brush and then I'll use my finger to like really pack on the color. Oh, is it not, it's not even like a real pink color. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. It's glitter. It's still cool. Still a cool color. I guess that's why you do swatch testing first. <laughs> Just to like bring the orange back to life because I feel like it's kind of disappeared. I'm going to just kind of shade it in there up top. All right, and then I'm gonna take that yellow color. I'm just gonna kinda connect the yellow to the orange. I wanna go in with one of these colors. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this color. I'm gonna use this teal beauty creations color. Is that what I want? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. And I'm gonna go on my waterline. All right, I'm just gonna do the other side. There is some fallout. I'll need to fix that. Um, it's like glitter fallout. Hmm. It's pretty much there. It's not going to go away. So just FYI, that middle color, the just that pink glitter, it does have fallout. All right. Now I'm going to go in with, I guess, my normal duo. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Superhero It Cosmetics on the top and the Marc Jacobs on the bottom. And I'm just going to zip through this real quick and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's my favorite. And I'm using the Anissa Multi Powder Brush. I love this brush. It's also my favorite. <laughs> I am going to use the Scott Barnes Blush in Mango Fizz. And I got this orange color because Tati raved about it. And so I have wanted to use it forever and it's just been sitting here. And I figured today was the day. Why not? Let's see what this orange looks like. It's 
actually like very pretty. It's um very summery. As I have my Christmas decorations in the background. <laughs> Let's do summer. I mean, I do wish I was on a cruise, so that's what I feel like this is. Makes me feel like I'm on a cruise or I want to be on vacation. So in, in the monitor, I kind of look like a clown, but in person, this is itching my nose. In person, I look really cute. So I don't know who's deceiving me. I don't know if it's the mirror or the monitor. I don't know. But let's go ahead and use the Haley's Beauty Refresh Setting Spray. I'm just gonna shake it up. Um, I don't, I think because I've gotten so used to the Pore Professionals continuous spray, that's what I like now. So I'm not saying that's bad whatsoever. I love Haley's Beauty, so I'm sure that it's good. It's designed by a chemist, like, come on. I'm sure it's good, but I don't love the sprayer. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Anyways, oh, I guess I should have sprayed after I did highlighter, but I'm gonna use the Belgian Waffle highlighter it's called weekend vibes so we're going on a cruise we got weekend vibes like it's just we're doing it this week i'm gonna use syrup which is this one right here very pretty you know it does show my texture a little bit, but I never noticed that highlighter would show texture until someone pointed it out on a YouTube video. And now every time I put on highlighter, I'm like, it's showing my texture. <laughs> so I don't know if that's this highlighter or all, all highlighters. I don't know. So that just is what it is. And I'm just going to take a small brush and put it in my inner corner. I'll swoop that up. A little swoopity swoop. If you want to see this hair look, I did put it on TikTok and Instagram. I did it before my hands started hurting because I knew most things are short lived. So you gotta do it when you can. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit up here. I just looked at the video and I'm definitely wearing too much blush. I could not tell in my room though. It was very dark, I guess, because it was about to rain. So I'm guessing that's why, I'm not sure. But just beware, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I can't redo this, so I'm just gonna let it play. But just beware if you use any Scott Barnes blush, it is very pigmented. <laughs> very. <laughs> let me make sure my hair looks okay. Mm -hmm. Last, we have lips. And I've got the Scott Barnes Glamazon Tyra Lip Pencil in the shade... Maybe Glamazon is the name. And then I also have the Scott Barnes lipstick uh, in the shade Love Story. So let's see how this looks. And then I always follow the rule of you line your lips here and here naturally. And then, so like you do your actual line. And I've noticed with like these type of pencils, I like to do it on the side so that it, you get more coverage. And then here, you kind of go under. And of course you have to meet them up. If you don't, okay, how do I explain this? So here, it looks funny, right? It doesn't like match up. So you've got to, 
match it up, if that makes sense. Don't just leave that gap. <laughs> Here I also line my actual lip line and then just go over just a little bit up here. Very creamy, very, very creamy. So I like this one a lot. This might actually be like my new go-to because I do have another one by, I think, is it Natasha Denona or Charlotte Tilbury? I'm not sure, let me see. Uh, Laura Mercier, neither of those. <laughs> Uh, I got one by Laura, Laura Mercier that I absolutely love, which is what I use for the majority of the time because it's darker, but this one's even better. So now I'm going to use the lipstick. And then I just take the lip liner again and just go over over where I think it needs to be a little bit darker. I feel very sexy. I love it. <laughs> I am shocked. Like, so, and I also had a pair of his falsetto lashes and I just, my hands hurt. I don't really feel like putting on lashes and these have a thicker band and I don't love thicker bands. So I will try this in another video. Just not now. That's the look my hair keeps getting in my eyes but girl <laughs> as long as it looks as pretty as it does in person and I don't look like a clown on the screen <laughs> I love it I uh, ha like I said before I've never used Scott Barnes so I absolutely love this lip duo it is so pretty it's very fall, actually. I, I really like the colors. So it's Glamazon and Love Story. And he's got sales. Like, look for look for when he has a sale. Or sometimes when you go on there, you can get like 20% off. Don't just buy full price. Definitely look for coupons and sales. Just so you know, I never buy full price. I always get a coupon or a sale or I'm not buying it. It just is what it is. I really like this orange blush. I'm shocked. Like, I don't I don't love how it's showing up on screen. Like, it looks kind of weird. I'm hoping that it comes across the same way on screen that it does in person, because it looks really nice in person. I just sprayed it again. Hoping that like to calm it down. I don't know. It just looks weird in the screen, but I really, really do love this. I'm going to keep trying it too. Uh, I'll take pictures. Hopefully it's just my screen, but I like the orange blush. It's different. It's cool. I really like it. And it goes on really nice. It, it like sinks into your skin. If that makes sense. I am obsessed with the formula he uses for his eyeshadows. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am actually shocked. I didn't think I would like it as much. Um, I don't love this glitter shade in the middle. I just, I don't like glitter. But all the other shades are just, they're just insane. They are insane. And to have this like the carnival -y, not pastel, but almost like pastel colors are actually really hard to get pigment um, when in, in an eyeshadow palette. So I love, love, love this palette. So if you're thinking about it or on the edge, get this one. Um, I think that's it. Everything else I've already used before. So every video I do a uh, daily affirmation. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. It's just something that I do in my daily life. And I've found that it brings me happiness. So, and I, and I actually get it off an app. Like, that's all it is. You can download the app. It is called I Am. That's it. And so today's is I continuously push myself to learn and develop in areas of life that bring me happiness, freedom, and purpose. Now, I always say it like a couple more times just to like really get it out in the world, but I'll leave it here so you can say it a couple more times if you want to, or just, you know, click out, whatever. 
But that is it for me. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. As always, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want to follow me along on Mondays and Thursdays, hit that notification bell. All right, y'all. Bye.